YouTube. How's everybody doing today? Um, well, I got something that I'm very excited to share with everybody today. Uh, this is something that I've wanted for a really, really long time. And uh, I reached out to one of my friends, and that's a master at his trade, and I uh, asked him to make it for me. You might be asking uh, what I'm talking about, and I'm going to show you here in just a second. But I received this in just a little bit ago, and uh, I'm going to go ahead and show it to you. So here I'm going to show you, I'm going to share with you the letter first up. I hope it arrives safely from Silver D510. Silver D510 is a buddy of mine that I've known for a little while now. I met him through Steemit and Discord. Um, you know, he's, he's on YouTube. He hasn't really been making videos yet, but... Uh, you know, he's in uh, he's other places, like I said, like Steam and Discord. Really good guy. He's off the East Coast. And, uh, you know, he's a, I'd say he's a master carpenter. And uh, let's go ahead. I'm going to start with the slider here. I'm going to share some of this with you. Sup, the wait is over, my friend. Inside this box is the treasure chest you have been asking for. I hope that it meets your expectations. Buddy, you blew my expectations right out of the water. This thing's absolutely gorgeous. It's an heirloom piece. I love it, man. I'm going to have it forever. Uh, the exterior of the box is made of black walnut, and the interior is made of cherry wood. There's no stain. The, uh, these are the natural colors of the wood. As it ages, it will naturally darken a bit from the tannings within the wood. The hasp and handles are raw iron. The handles are for decoration. Please do not lift by them. He says that I can fit... Um, up to probably a couple thousand ounces in this chest. It's a, it's a nice sized chest and uh, you know if, if you do the math right you're talking a couple hundred pounds so it would take it would take some serious handles to handle something like that. Um, so let's see here. Uh, he put a hasp on the front of it. It's, it's absolutely beautiful. So now I'm going to stop yapping and I'm just going to go ahead and show you and uh, I already unlocked it. There's a key on the front. Let's take a look at this bad boy. And I apologize if my lighting's not the greatest, actually, before I start this. Let me see if I can turn the light on. Um, here we go. All right, so here's my treasure chest. Look at the size of this thing. I left the CCT slide out to show the scale. It's a big rounded top. I'm going to have to stand back to get this thing in the shot. But look at this thing. This thing is gorgeous. That's just natural, beautiful dark wood rounded the top on this thing can't even imagine what it would take to round this it's absolutely beautiful wood you got the leather straps and the hardware on the sides and here in the front let's go ahead and take the lock off every treasure chest has to have a lock on it here we got the nice rod iron hardware let's go ahead and lift this bad boy up so if you can see inside it's nice three-quarter inch wood, very, very solid, and as you can see, I've been feeling it. Uh, let's take a look here in the box. I got it up here near the top, but I got some just, uh, these are my community pours. And you're going to be seeing this box again. I'm going to be giving it another good look once I do my community pour box. You can see some of the COAs I have sitting here on top, and the rest, as you can see right there, is all silver down to the bottom. These are all my community pours from the community. You guys know I like bear. Look at my stack of bear COAs. I got Vessel and Vulcan, Scully, lots of pit bullion, silver to burn. I got the Colonel. I got the K4 Mint right there. I got lots of them in there. Lots of Dean Tomoko, Silver Diva, Rick's Metalworks. I got lots of COAs in there. Lots of good uh, community pieces in this box that I'll be excited to share with everybody uh, once I do that video. But I want to still focus on this beautiful, beautiful box. Check out this lid. I got a little story to tell you too. Um, Silver D packed this thing. I, I, there's no way you could possibly pack this thing better. And it went through the U.S. Postal Service. And this box came absolutely destroyed. And, you know, um, there's a couple little nicks and dings that got on the box, unfortunately. But uh, the reason I'm bringing this up is just to tell you how well this thing was made. You can see on the back of this box, it's pretty heavy right now, so I'm not going to lift it up. But on the back of this box, there's a line that looks like a fork truck ran into it. And there's even a thin crack on the inside of this three-quarter inch board. So this thing got crushed 
And look at this. It didn't even move. That's how well this thing's been put together. Absolutely indestructible box. Gorgeous. Absolutely love it. Like I said, this thing's going to be around for a long time. I'm going to fill this thing, stack it in there neatly. He told me if you stack bars in here, you could easily get over 2,000 ounces. So I'll be able to keep filling this thing up for a little while. And uh, it's going to be absolutely a staple in my community collection. So Silver D, I appreciate you, my friend. I know you got countless hours and a lot of, a lot of love. <laughs> a lot of hard work into this thing, especially bending that three-quarter inch wood and the finish and everything. It's it's gorgeous. Um, you know, I, I can't tell you thanks enough. I just appreciate you. I appreciate the friendship, buddy. I appreciate your craftsmanship. Um, I absolutely love it. You guys let me know what you think of my new treasure chest down below. And, uh, man, I just this thing's gorgeous. Absolutely love it. So... I appreciate every single one of you guys stopping by and supporting my channel, and uh, I'll talk to you all real soon.